If the old saying's true, things happen in threes, well, sign me up for that. Um, as many of you might remember, I had a close family member um, have a alcohol addiction and get rushed to the hospital and was battling for their lives. Well, good news for them, they are back home and they are recovering, but they have a long road ahead of them. And it's just a very, very long road uh, for them. That's one. Two, the day after Thanksgiving, my aunt passed away uh, due to leukemia. And um, she was young. She was 65. She, was, she loved life and everything about it. But the good news is, is that she's not suffering anymore. And she's... Um, off in a better place. Three, I have a, an animal, a cat in my house that's been very ill and has been basically refusing any treatment that I've been giving this animal and we are on the borderline of possibly putting down the animal um, until recently the animal started showing signs of kind of acting normal and coming back to life. If three bad things, if, if bad things happen in threes, well, I hope that's enough for the year. But on the other hand, those three bad things all do have a silver lining and a positive outcome in a weird way. You see, the member of the family who had the alcohol problem is recovering and making a better life for themselves and changing how they look at things and moving forward. My aunt, yeah, God knows I miss her every single day, but she's not suffering anymore and she's off in a better place. And we as a family have come together better and stronger and is just working to, to have more time and make more memories moving forward. And my cat, even though he's been sick, is starting to show normalcy at the end of this, at the end of all this. Now, I'm not trying to post the last vlog on Billy Mac's adventures and the first vlog on the Billy Mac page as a negative one. I'm not trying to do that at all. I'm just saying that things in my life have been a little hectic and I'm behind. And I'm trying to juggle my life and my YouTube life. And it's... It's been a, an interesting juggle. Now, I'm still going to have a documentary coming out in, in December, um, but I am behind, and I do apologize about that. But life has thrown wrenches into my life, and I'm just trying to look at them optimistically and open-mindedly and know that, yes, it sucks that things have happened, but positively we are moving forward, and life is moving forward, and things are going in the right direction. Um, on the whole, uh, you know, even though we have bumps, we are working forward. So we do have plans for 2024, 2023's uh, Billy Max Adventures, and I, I'm getting things organized a little bit better as I move forward. But it's been a very hectic last month or so, and... Um, I wanted you guys to be aware of that, and um, we're going to continue doing what we do best and just fight through it and keep moving forward. Now, I'm not leaving this on a negative note. Uh, I'm not trying to drown you guys out with bad news, because the holidays is right around the corner, and I want to share positivity and enlightenment. Um, so, I recently teamed up well, I shouldn't say recently anymore, it was like beginning of November, but I teamed up with an organization based out of South Kingstown, Rhode Island. Um, maybe I'm biased about the group because my old man um, and my stepmom both run the group, but the group is called Friends of the Saugatucket. Now, what they primarily do is they keep an eye on waterways um, within the town of South Kingstown because all water in South Kingstown find it, finds its way to the Saugatucket River. But they don't just do 
um, South Kingstown, they do local areas like Charlestown, Narragansett, um, and they do a lot of water cleanups. They do a lot of uh, environmental things. Um, they, they just try to get people more aware of what we have in our backyard in this lovely town state that we live in. So I'm going to put a link to their information down below, their Facebook page. Um, go check them out if you haven't already uh, became if you're not following them already um, help out when you can if they're looking for volunteers and donate where you can uh, if you can um, because they're they're doing everything they can to help the environment that we live in now the river cleanup we did um, I can't remember how many pounds of trash we pulled out of the river um, but it was not the greatest number of trash removal that they had in years past, and, and that's because they are maintaining and getting better moving forward. They are keeping up on the river cleanups. They do about two river cleanups a year, and they are curving the, the amount of pollution that's in, in the town. So I'm going to share some pictures that we, t we took from that uh, event. Again, check them out, and um, we, you know, we, we had a really good turnout. A lot of people showed up, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I hope, guys, you understand where I'm coming from, and I hope you guys know that I'm not abandoning YouTube. I enjoy making content and videos. Um, I enjoy exploring and doing new things, and I enjoy sharing things with you. Uh, life has just been life, <laughs> basically. Guys, um, I'll catch you in the next one. I do, like I said, I'm going to be getting that documentary together. Um, hopefully I can get it together sooner than later uh, if my computer is cooperating. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. In the meantime, I'll catch you in the next adventure. See ya. Thank you.